Hi there. Each year during the holiday season, Walmart sells these tiny $5 cast iron skillets in their stocking stuffer section. They come with a chocolate chip cookie mix or a brownie mix that frankly is really awful. I looked at these skillets last year in an unboxing video and decided it would be much better to take the skillet and make your own homemade cookie dough to go with it because homemade cookie dough is really easy to make. Well, this year they've released a new set of cast iron cookie skillets using two characters from the Star Wars movies, Darth Vader and BB-8. And of course, Star Wars fans are snatching these up, so they're probably going to be sold out a lot of these well before the after-holiday clearance sales. And next year, we'll be seeing these cookie skillets sold on eBay at jacked-up prices. The Darth Vader skillet is obviously going to be the big seller of these, and BB-8, well, not so much. But how good are these pans for making cookies, and is the cookie mix in these packages any better than what they sell in those cheap Walmart cookie skillets? Let's take a look and see for ourselves. These pans sell for $6 at Walmart, but on eBay they're already going for at least $25 each. So, here is the BB-8 skillet. No offense, BB-8, you will probably never be as popular as Darth Vader. The copyright here says Lucasfilm Limited. Well, that's nice. That means it's official. No markings at all on the back. And when we compare this to a the old Walmart uh, cookie skillet, we can see it's a little less in diameter than the uh, Walmart skillet, although a little wider, so probably the surface area is about the same. A wee bit longer, though that hardly matters. Still not very big. And as far as thickness is concerned, the Walmart skillet may actually be just very slightly higher, but not much. Of course, they're both Walmart skillets. However, unlike the uh, original Walmart skillet, this one comes with two packages of cookie mix rather than just one. <laughs> It has what I presume is an expiration date. Also interestingly, this comes with seasoning instructions on the bottom. The other one did not. So it says to wash and dry the skillet before using it and seasoning it, which is what we will do. Meanwhile, the instructions for actually preparing the cookie look almost exactly the same as uh, the old skillet cookie, so I'm guessing the cookie mix must be uh, about the same. Though it's interesting, it only says one tablespoon of beaten egg. <laughs> and here is Darth Vader. <laughs> and so, like the instructions say, we scrub this with soap and hot water. Some folks will scream you should never wash cast iron with soap, but that's actually not true. Now the instructions say to use vegetable oil on the skillet, but I've learned from experience that Crisco does a better job seasoning a uh, cast iron pan. And after rubbing it on, we wipe it off. This is not going to completely wipe off the uh, oil, just the excess. There will still be a thin coating on it. And now into the oven to season them. And since we're using Crisco, we bake the pans at 400 degrees for two hours. Then we let them cool off in the oven, and our cast iron pans are now seasoned and ready for use. Well, it looks like we will be taking BB-8 out on a trial run. And if this works well, next will be Darth Vader. So 
It's a little messy, but you should not crack an egg on the side of the bowl. It forces tiny pieces of shell into the egg, and that makes it hard to get rid of them all. This recipe calls for one tablespoon of beaten egg. I have to say, I've never seen that before. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Coat the bottom, sides, and rim of the skillet with one tablespoon of butter. Note, for best results, use butter, not cooking spray. Okay, the best way to do this is just to get my hands dirty. Pour one package of cookie mix into a bowl. I will say there are more chocolate chips than there were last year. The cookie mix last year had all of six chips in it. Add one tablespoon softened butter. And one tablespoon beaten egg. So I guess there's enough left here to make another cookie if we want. Well, spread into seasoned cast iron skillet. Seems to be spread out pretty thin, but then again, cookies aren't really supposed to be thick. I just hope it actually shows some kind of a an imprint. I'm presuming this will expand in the oven. And bake 15 minutes. Well, I think it looks a little better than last year. Now I just need to let it cool a bit. And let's see what happens. For the most part, it seems to be coming away from the edge. That's something. Now we get to see if we actually have a cookie that looks like BB-8. You're right. Yep. <laughs> you have a oh, it's stuck on all right. Admittedly, it looks like a soft cookie. Mm -hmm. It's just stuck because they're right here. It might be right. Shall we give it another try? Easy. There you go. It's starting to go. There goes the head. <laughs> yep. There you go. Well, <laughs> sort of. Because <laughs> the chocolate chip stuck. That's what it was. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Well, let's turn it over, see if we have any kind of an imprint. Well, it would be the imprint. Oh, that was side. the imprint. That, would be that, <laughs> that side. shows you right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, okay, so basically we've got a cute looking pan that does. It's for decoration. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It does then, not produce a cookie that looks like a Star Wars character. No. But you, I think it's more for decoration, and then you eat out of it. That's probably why it doesn't come out very easy. Is you probably, you know, you could put, I'd rather, you know, for me, leave it in there mm -hmm. and put a scoop of ice cream on top. You know what I mean? Like they do with, um, you know, cookie skillet at right. like, um, the restaurants. There. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. So there we go. That is the <laughs> BB 8 Star Wars skillet. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Can we be any more sarcastic? If I, if I say that through my clenched teeth? <laughs> it's alright. I think it might be a little better than last year's cookie at least. I don't remember. I don't know if you care to try a piece? I think I was sleeping last year. Mm. I think you told me about how it was. Mm. 
Mm. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. It's yeah. um. It's got a weird consistency. Hmm. It's like um. Hmm. More rubbery than chewy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I would say it's more rubbery than chewy. Okay, so. Hmm. But it's still, it's still airy on the inside. That's mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. The so. pan's well worth it, though. Hmm. Just for the pan. Yeah. It's yeah. a cute looking pan. That's the best we can say. Which well, means that I think we will not waste the other uh, cookie packet on Darth Vader. Uh -uh. And instead, we will do something else. However, these are still good cast iron pans, and there are ways to use them without wasting time and effort with this cookie mix that even a bantha wouldn't want to eat. So instead, we put together some homemade pancake mix and use these pans to make pancakes. There's nothing wrong with using store-bought pancake mix, but homemade pancakes are very easy to put together and much better than what you get at the store. After mixing the ingredients together, we stir in milk a little at a time until it reaches the right consistency and we have pancake batter. It's looking more like pancake mix. Oh yeah, but that's perfect right there. Perfect. Perfect though. All right. Oh. Only on low heat too. We heat the Darth Vader pan at low to medium heat and also heat up a cast iron griddle. After melting some butter, we only need to add less than a quarter cup of pancake batter to fill up the pan. Then we bake it and flip it. We melt some butter onto the griddle and flip the pancake over. Oh, hey, it works. Sort of. <laughs> this was actually much better than expected and definitely better than the cookie. And here's a Darth Vader pancake that should certainly impress any Star Wars fan. Now we do the same thing with the BB-8 pan, and the results are also very satisfying. Whatever your opinion of the last three Star Wars movies may be, this is still a nice looking pancake. These Star Wars cookie skillets may come with some terrible cookie mix, but if you use them for making pancakes, they're actually not bad at all. And finally, I took the other three packages of cookie mix and tried putting them together in one big cookie. The results were still, well, not very good. <laughs> More like a pancake than a cookie. Boy, did it stick. And so, on Christmas morning, some kids will receive these pans and try using them to make cookies, and they'll be rather disappointed. There's simply no way the cookie mix that comes with these pans will give you a cookie that looks like Darth Vader or BB-8. However, as we saw, the pans themselves are actually decent little cast iron pans and there are ways to use them to make something delicious that actually does look like what we see in the pans themselves. You will be able to make special treats for your kids with these pans and so for $6, it's not a bad stocking stuffer. I'll be giving these pans to my brothers, my godson, and the five-year-old son of some close friends in New York, but I'll be sure to include a note warning them about the cookie mix. So our verdict here is to do the same thing you should do if you find yourself with one of those $5 Walmart cookie skillets. Throw out the cookie mix and use the cast iron pan itself. And I think it won't be worth the jacked up price you'll be seeing these pans selling on eBay. So just keep an eye out and get these at Walmart before they sell out. And then you can use them and have some fun. Thank you for watching.